Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now then, this one is rather overdue. It is the BWB MPU4 Video AWPs, which for some reason I haven't got round to doing a video on yet, but we will be rectifying that right now. And straight out the gate, what I'm going to say is I'm going to split these up into three eras, which is basically early, mid and late, even though they were actually all released in a fairly short time frame of about three years, three or four years or so. Now, one of the very earliest ones was this one here, Mizuma Bell, and we can handily see in attract mode there, down at the bottom left hand corner, if you can do your Roman numerals, that is 1992. Now, this is the first one that I can remember seeing. Not saying it was the first one, but it's the first one that I can remember. However, got to be honest with you, I didn't really play it much, hardly at all in fact. For starters, I never saw any of these in pubs in the UK. When this came out in 92, I was still in the UK, I hadn't even visited the Isle of Man. And I did an awful lot of my fruit machine playing in the pub. I spent a lot of time in the arcades as well, but my preference was to, as I've mentioned before, drink and gamble at the same time, whereas in arcades you could just gamble. So I do remember seeing these in the arcade, and I've got it in my head. I had a few pound in them one way or another and wasn't particularly impressed. If I was in a, an arcade, there would be better things to choose from from this. For starters, I mean, it looks awful. The graphics are awful. The sound is awful. In 1992, when this thing came out, uh, real physical fruit machines, we got into the, the first proper wave of what you might call modern high techs with full sampled sound packages, really attractive artwork, you know, good looking physical fruit machines. And I didn't particularly see the appeal of something like Mizuma Bell to give us a bit more of a, an idea of what the real thing looked like. That is running a later £6 ROM there, uh, but it did start off on the left hand side as you can see on a £4.80 jackpot and that gives you an idea of what the sort of cabinet looks like. You've got a big old fashioned CRT monitor in the bottom half of the cabinet. No flat screens back then so that, that was like a basically a, a television tube in the bottom of the thing and they all followed a similar sort of cabinet design. A little bit later on they got a bit of, there's a Reno Reels which is one of the late ones. This is down at Mr P's amusement. You can see the top glass there and as this video pans down you can see it's basically the same cab that Mizuma Bell is in and we've got the screen down there and then one of the later ones which was Monte Carlo or Bust we can't actually see it in this video, I'm afraid, at all, but the sort of top bit of the machine, I don't, I don't, the, the camera unfortunately doesn't pan up for the whole thing, but the sort of top bit of the machine, let's just go back to that, had got a bit, so where you've got the Mizuma Bell logo here, it had kind of elongated out a bit at the top and you had a little bit more room up on the top glass area. So. When Mizuma Bell, let's just put a couple of quid in. And I've got it in my head that this is about all I ever put into this thing. Was pretty much two or three pounds, and I just wasn't impressed with it. Listen to, I mean, listen to the sound. You've got to remember here, I, I've always been very much about the sound and music of fruit machines. I've always been into the, the sound and music has been quite an important part of them for me. So for starters, you've got real old school MPU4 sound effects on this. It's, it's not even the the more modern kind of synth sounds that Barcrest were using in the likes of Viva Las Vegas, for example. So we've got dreadful sound and music. We've got fairly, let's be honest, we've got fairly awful graphics. Let's nudge down there. And really uninspiring gameplay. I mean, it has done a hold after nudges. That does it do a hold after? I'm not even sure it does hold after nudges properly. Oh, it does do hold after nudges. There we go. Then we go into this high low gamble. We can have a swap on that. We got a lower than a nine, I guess. Higher than a. If we can get the next one, we've got the X-ray for the next one. Oh, there we are. So we're definitely going to go lower there. And I fancy my chances for that. You, fuck. They're so bent. The gambles on these. They really are. It has held there. So there we go. We'll have another crack at gambling it out. We've got to, so we've got to win this one. Oh, for 
pity's sake. And you know what? I think this is about the most play I did on a real one of these. Uh, the thing is, because they turned up in arcades only, as far as I was aware, from, from, from the pubs that I was going in, in, in sort of Radcliffe and Bury and Manchester, I never, re I don't remember seeing any uh, MPU4 video fruit machines in those pubs. So these would have been in arcades only, and frankly, I think there were better things to choose in the arcade. If, if I'd have found myself in, say, a city centre arcade in Manchester, or even a smaller arcade in Bury, you generally had a good selection of modern fruit machines to choose from, you know, really good high-techs, uh, and I was always, always at a soft spot for the low-techs like your Seven Heavens and such like, but you'd also have pinballs, you'd have video games, you'd have driving games, all that kind of thing. Frankly, something like this would not have received much of my money, and I think I put a few pounds in them here and there when they first turned up out of curiosity but just decided frankly that I didn't really like them so I've got not a, not a huge amount to say about this very early wave of MPU4 video AWPs I know a lot of people have got a real soft spot and I believe there's all kind of shenanigans that you could get up to on them as well but of course I had no idea about any of that at the time so to me they were just kind of bad boring fruit machines and I, I didn't really have an awful lot to do with them and they then we get on to what i would call the mid range or the, the middle time frame of them unfortunately we don't actually have a date on the attract mode here but it looks to me as the graphics have got better looks to me you can see there that the graphics have gone up a notch and the sound has gone up at a notch. We're, we're, we're not at full samples yet, but if you have a listen to this, we've now got something a little bit more like a, a proper synthy style sound going on, and I like these more. So you can hear that there. We, we've now got something a little bit more funky in the sound department, and the graphics are better as well. So I find that quite a nice little ditty there. Um, and we've got we've got a little bit more like some nice kind of fast mid tech a oh that's a nice little we'll have that let's get that and we'll take our red hot cash now we get our red hot repeat let's have a didn't really fancy that one. I think it actually plays a synth version of Ebenezer Good. If you can get the Red Sevens on this, you get a nice little synth rendition of Ebenezer Good. Now, when these turned up, again, it was uh, arcades only. Don't remember seeing these in the pubs either. I'm not saying that they never existed in pubs, but I personally did not see them in in the pubs so it, it was arcades only and they kind of fell foul a little bit in the same way that Mizuma Bell did there's that there were better options so even though this is a more advanced machine than Mizuma Bell and even though it's got better sound your proper fruit machines had moved on another stage at this point so the problem was that machines like Sunburst, even though I do have memories of them being in arcades, I haven't really got any significant memories of actually playing the things. And in all honesty, I think that's because I didn't really play them very much. They just somehow, they, they just weren't getting onto my radar. Even though Sunburst here, I actually like this. Where is Mizuma Bell? I can't... Now, you know, I can't retrospectively think, oh, well, I was missing out there because that's actually a really good game on the quiet. I still think it's crap even today. Whereas Sunburst, whereas it didn't get much love off me off the time, these kind of second tier uh, BWB machines, I think they're actually an entertaining game and there's some fun to be had with them. So these have been quite good to play in the emulator. I think that Richie1976 did... Uh, quite a few of the classics for these so thank you to him for this because i've had some fun playing this one uh, getting ready for this video can we just get a hold after nudges for a jackpot or can we get a jackpot somehow 
So, even though I think I've mentioned before that MPU4 video was one of the holy grails of the new era of Fruit Machine emulation, which of course started in November 2016 with the release of MFMEV5, and one of the most significant techs in that emulator release was MPU4 video. However, it wasn't really for me for these earlier BWB AWPs. I've already made two videos about the crystal mazes and the well I think we have two videos about the crystal mazes and one about the main team game as well. They were they, they were one of like the, the absolute star prize of MPU4 video for me was being able to play those Barcrest uh, SWPs because Barcrest used this tech as well. These early Beat oh, we, nah, I'm not really interested in that. These early, I'll oh, just fluff that up. These early BWBs, not so much. However, it was the third tier, the latest or the the, the last tier, if you will, of these BWB AWPs that I was really sort of salivating at the prospect of playing again. I am just going to get this out for a jackpot, just because I want to hear that really funky... It's just playing a bit nasty here, isn't it? I really want to hear that, that funky version of Ebenezer. Good that you get, but again, as with Mizuma Bell and, and their... Oh, I don't know why I held that there. Those very first ones. I, I can't honestly say I've got any significant memories of playing these machines even though I was aware of their existence and even though I had got used to seeing them in the arcades, they just weren't something that really lit my fire at the time. This is plain like... Can we just get a... We'll do a hold after nudges for a jackpot. It's only a £6 jackpot, so it's not too scared about doing a hold after nudges for the jackpot. So we'll, we'll just camp it out. Come on, you bugger. It really is. Um... No, that's no... No, I don't want that. Come on. There we are. Right, okay then. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have a proper blast of the jackpot music here. I mean, you know, be not... <laughs> You're not going to put it on in the car, I suppose, are you? But I think that's pretty funky. Do we fancy our chances here? I don't fancy my chances. Ah, bugger off. So there we go. Let's. Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it'll give... Should we just see if we can get a little feature or something? Uh, I think cash... Ca I think you've got to get up to pick and nudge, really, before these get any good. Link up is a pretty... Oh, I thought we might get away with that then, but we didn't. So there is some fun to be had with the, these more middle of the uh, middle of the time period for the beat. Oh, hyper nudge! Can I do anything with that? Not really, no. So let's just collect that six quid out. Oh, but you'd, you'd kind of. Uh, we'll put a twenty p token in there just to see if we get a hold after nudges for that jackpot. Not that it really makes any difference, but there we are. No, we haven't. So then we go on to the third and final era of the. BWB MPU4 video AWPs, and these are the ones that I was really, really looking forward to playing again, to the extent that this video here of Reno Reels being played at Mr. P's Classic Amusement, uh, I think if we go down to the date, I've got, it was uploaded, yeah, 2011, I watched this video quite a few times. I've, the sound on it is really, really low, so you've got to turn your sound up to some ridiculous extent just to be able to listen to the sampled sounds on it again, because BWB were fantastic at doing really, really good sampled sound packages, and it was one of my great hopes for Fruit Machine emulation that I'd be able to play Machines like uh, Reno Reels and Monte Carlo Bust and Miami Dice in an emulator again, but I'd kind of accepted it was never going to happen, which was I was sad about, but it, it, it was the way it was. And I, I honestly thought, and I said this about uh, Labyrinths and Sphinx, uh, Labyr Labyrinths, did I say then? Labyrinth and Sphinx, you know, the, the uh, Electrocoin high tech AWPs that I, I just kind of accepted it was never going to happen. They, they were never going to be playable in an emulator or publicly released emulator. So this was one of, like I said before, that the 
one of the real holy grails of the new era of fruit machine emulation for me. But first of all, let's remind ourselves of these two amazing DX layouts that were both released by Altered Emu. We've got them running here. And this, to me, is a, a magnificent sight. I mean, obviously, the DXs themselves are terrific, as Altered Emu's work always is. So it's a combination of having that gorgeous DX layout that we've got for both of these machines and just the very fact that we've got this late era MPU4 video AWB, uh, AWPs playable in an emulator. It was it's kind of a little bit of a dream fulfilled to me to be able to play these again. Now I will come to these two in a minute but the one, as daft as it sounds, the one that I was really looking forward to the most, we don't have a DX for it, but it's this one here, Reno Reels. Now you can see there that it was released in 1994. Now, 94 is when I first came over to the Isle of Man. I visited in 94 and 95, stayed over the summer holidays to work because uh, me and Degsy, uh, Mrs. Degsy were an item by then and I moved over here permanently in 1996. Now, as with all the other video AWPs, I just don't remember seeing them in the pubs of, of Manchester, Radcliffe, Bury, Bolton, all those places I used to go out. I just don't remember seeing them in the pubs at all. They were in the arcades though. However, what happened is a load of them turned up on the Isle of Man and they were sighted in the pubs. Now, I've, I've made mention of this before that we, we have this weird thing where batches of machines seem to turn up all from the same genre. An obvious one, I, I know I have mentioned this before, so sorry I'm repeating myself, but uh, red £70 AWPs when everyone on Jackpotty was kind of moaning about the fact that their reds were disappearing. Whole fucking scotch load of them turned up over here. And they'd obviously been through been through the wars a bit. They'd seen some action. And same with the flickers. They turned up. Uh, you know, a lot of Barcrest £70 AWPs. Aliens and flickers and what like. They, they all turned up at the same time. And the same thing happened right back in the mid-90s with these video AWPs. In a fairly short space of time, they were a popular, like a common sight in the pubs here. And because I was out, you know, at the pub playing the fruit machines and drinking all the time, I got intimately acquainted with these. And these are actually the the, the jackpot stakes of the stake and price here that I was familiar with, which was the £4, £8. Now, in the UK, of course, these would have been on a £4 cash, £8 token. However, on the Isle of Man, we never had token jackpots. It was never a thing here. They were always all cash. So whereas you were playing for, you know, £6 tokens or £8 tokens, then went to all cash at £10 in the UK, right the way through those eras, we were always all cash on the Isle of Man. And if you load up the, I think it's the It's a Knockout, the May game machine, It's a Knockout, that actually says Isle of Man on the Alpha when it boots up. In fact, rather than just say that, let's just have a look at it. I'll, I'll fire it up now because I'm, I'm sure that's the machine it's on. Well, I've actually made a liar of myself here, it, but I've got it in my head it was an older DX. This one here is running UK ROMs. There was definitely an it's a, no it's a Knockout layout, which I will have in the archive somewhere. It may even have been a Pandy DX, but as it's booting up, it actually says Isle of Man, or Isle of Man on the Alpha to signify that it's an £8 all cash ROM. Um, if I'd done a little bit more prep, I only popped into my head this to, to uh, make mention of that now. Uh, and I haven't done the prep. I haven't got the layout ready. It, like I say, it will be in my Fruit Machine emulation archive somewhere. But you're just going to have to take me at my word that there is a ROM out there, which, which is an Isle of Man all cash ROM, which has previously been used in an X knockout layout. This, this is a more recent Tommy C layout, as you can see there. I think I've got it in my head. It might have been an old Pandy DX that was running those ROMs. doesn't matter. I mean, the point here is that 
this is the steak and prize combo that I remember, which is uh, an eight pound jackpot. And Reno reels, for some reason, there were a few of these in the pubs here. You could find them in the pubs of Ramsey and the pubs of Douglas. So I got intimately acquainted with them. And one of my favorite aspects of them was the sound packages uh the sound package on it because the samples on this were superb now these roms do play slightly differently to the ones that i remember because the ones that i used to play here was when you get a feature you can gamble for a in fact let's just do it let's let's put a couple of quid in on the uh, you, in fact you can actually see there that at any given time one of the features will be super it always starts on super slots and then moves around one at a time now, on the ones that we had here, if you took a feature when it was super, the wins always went in chunks of four pounds. So a super feature was guaranteed to pay four quid. And if it, if it credit uh, broke and took a credit, it would always go on for another four quid. So in essence, all of the super features were four pound repeaters. And I would always just spin and spin and spin and spin until I either hit bust, which is there. You can't see it at the moment. Until I hit bust or hit whatever feature was super at that moment in time. Which I guess, in a way, was was a kind of sort of forcing, really. But I, because I knew it would always go up in £4 chunks. And they really loved to do 8 quid or 12 quid. And they would sometimes go out to 16 quid as well these roms don't do that they don't even guarantee you four quid when they're super and they can do all sorts of weird amounts if they do go on it that doesn't really well if there is some kind of consistency to it i haven't really worked it out i'll be honest with you so let's get a little bit of sample action here because the sounds on this machine are fantastic it did take a few quid off me before so i'm actually hoping that it'll be in a reasonable mood sample track, uh, the, the nudge track alone, or the nudge sample there is great. And what we're looking for is that, oh, if it holds up to nudges for a jackpot, it's pretty happy, but didn't happen there. Let's see if we can get onto a feature. You can either get a feature by, you get three of the Reno symbols, or you can uh, you gamble a win up to an exchange point. Like all of these, the Mizuma Bell there, you saw, did it right at the start. They were all exactly the same on the high-low gambles. They were absolutely as bent as you like. So there we are. We've got a game on up at the top. And it did have marked cards on it. So I haven't got any marked cards here. Another nice little sample. I don't believe this. Yeah, I, I believe it all too well. There, there was no such thing as a safe number on these. Oh, there we are. Apart from a two and a... Is it king? No, I don't think you could use a king. I'm not sure you could. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't think you could... No, I don't think you could lose on a king, could you? Because if, if an ace... Kill, there we are. We'll try again. No, we'll try and get on a feature. Okay, there we are. So we're still... Oh, there's a marked card. You know what? I can't... I can't remember. Is that... Oh. Yeah, that's a three. Right. And I wouldn't be surprised if it stiffs me here. Okay. Now, what I'll collect here, I will actually collect the four-pound repeater, because that gives you a great blast of music. Yes, oh, I, I love these tunes. I absolutely love these tunes on these machines. Not fancy in that. There we are. That's that. I will try and get... What I'll try and do is get round... Oh, there we are. I'll try and get round all four... Now, I wouldn't normally do this. I would have just kept spinning until I got bust or the super feature. But what I'm going to do here is collect this. I'm going to go through all the sound samples. My favourite was actually roulette. And this was another one of those sound samples. You know, like I've talked about the nudge music on Mayday's East Enders the collect sample on Andy's Great Escape. The roulette sample on this machine was another one whereby if I was getting absolutely fucked by a machine and I needed a little bit of chill out time because I knew I was, I was heading to losing all my money, I would try and collect roulette and I would even collect it if it wasn't... Oh, there we are. It collected it for me. Place your bets. 
and just listen to this sample. It's such a relaxing sample. Let's just have the volume up on there. And I could just let that um, loop and loop and loop until I was nicely chilled out. So let's try... I mean, this has got... The thing with roulette is it's got to go. What? One go. He wasn't super, I suppose. But there you go. One pound feature. That was a bit shite, wasn't it? So we'll get, try and get dice next. But it did land on my favourite one there. Roulette was... Of, of all the samples, roulette was my favourite one. And that's the one that I'd target if I needed a little bit of chill-out time. So let's just... We can get one of the other... Ooh. Ugh. Oh, I've not got a swap available. This game it was obviously going to kill me there, wasn't it? So there's no way I was getting away with that one. Uh, let's go for that, see if we can get a hold for the feature. So I'll just get the other one, simply so we can listen to the samples. Doesn't matter if they're super or not. And they don't do the, the sort of... Well, that was a silly nudge. They, they don't do the £4 blocks anyway. Oh, there we are. Love a bit of that. And you can see there, that isn't actually a sample. That That's what the same kind of sound as uh, Sunburst and that, and that mid-generation. So it's a little bit... Oh, bollocks, it's this again. I don't believe oh. <laughs> it's a, So there is a slight mix of sound hardware in here. It's not fully sampled sound. There was also a cheap-ass version of this that used the... The Starburst era sound, because I remember Arena Reels turning up. We'll do that. Turning up in an arcade in Douglas. I thought, oh, great, I'll be able to hear that, because it was quite a while after they'd all disappeared from the pubs. Thinking, oh, that's great, I'll be able to hear all my favourite samples again. And it was just like Sunburst-style sound, so it was kind of like a synth version of the real samples, which I wasn't happy with at all. Anyway, we'll, we'll collect dice here. Not the best sample. We've already had the best one, which is roulette. Let's have a look how much we get off this on normal. So that's one pound forty. You just keep pressing start and you get what you give. There's two quid. It might kill me now. Yeah, there we go. Two quid off that one. So we've now got just got to get the other two. So we need to get. Oh god, we need to get slots and blackjack, and then we'll have had all of them. Blackjack can be a real stinker as well when it wants to be. That's oh, what's that? Is that? Oh, it's a queen, yeah. Oh, ma, 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 ma. oh, it's a marked card. That's a three. Is that a three? Yeah, okay, there we are. Now let's exchange. Although we could have a punt at the jackpot there, couldn't we? Higher than a three. Shall we have a go? I don't believe that. Ah! <laughs> fucking me. Fucking gambles on these machines. Right, okay, that was... I, I should have had the exchange there, but we want to hear the jackpot music at some point don't we and if it seems like i'm going a bit over the top on the music here uh i don't know what to tell you it was just there was something about these machines where for me it was oh there we are it was just that was monte carlo or bus doing the blast in the background for some reason it was just all about the sound they were lovely fast gameplay we know reels in particular uh and monte carlo and, and, and miami dice as well to be honest with you they just Good, fast gameplay, and I love the music on it. Quite a simple sample on that. So we've got to... Oh, God almighty. We're going to... There. Well, that was never... Out. It was... Twist. Twist. Oh. Oh. Twist. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to... Fuck, nothing. Nothing. No win. No win. Look at that. Absolutely cock all off of the top feature there, dearie me. Now, now I've got to get slots, you see. Now, it's going to hold out a bit on slots because that's super. But let's see if we can get it. And I have to say, you, it will sometimes have you do a ridiculous amount of these spins. Sometimes... It will actually land on the super one eventually, or it might just bust you out. But and this is the the real ones did this as well. It's not like a quirk of emulation where they didn't do this. 
the real ones would have you do and uh, is it gonna boss me out you could just do it again and again and again and again come on you fucking they are bust there we are so i've got to try and get let's just collect that out i've got to try and get super slots here and let's see what that one does and then we will... And then I've got to try and get a jackpot as well, really, haven't I? Because we get the uh, jackpot blast, because that's a... There we are. So that should be our exchange. Let's go in. It's potentially going to hold out a little bit more now. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, there we are. There's super slots. Right, okay. Let's have the sample. Sorry, if you're not into if you're not into nineteen nineties fruit machine samples that's as much as I am, that's, <laughs> that's not going to be a particularly edifying experience. But uh, f for me, it's it's very that's evocative. It's very that's very that's nostalgic that's for that's me because, and and hopefully it is for some of you watching as well that all of these all of these machines, everything about them, that's the that's graphics, the music, the sound, the that's gameplay. That's it's all just indelibly etched into my memories, into my brain. So just the, just the samples, just the effects, just the, the loops of music, uh, they kind of fire off synapses in my brain. Oh, is it going to kill me there? Okay. See, now that is really, really shit because on the ones that, that we had here, they all played the same. Whereas if you collected a super feature, you were guaranteed to get four quid. And then if it went on, you would get another four quid and so on. And this one doesn't play like that at all. It's, it's an absolute pig and it can do, as you saw there, less than even four quid on a super feature. So we've done... I'm not actually going to hold them all there. I'm going to try and... Oh, there we are. Right. Oh, that was nice. So we're now going to get a blast of the jackpot repeater music. Bring it in, maestro. Okay, let's have a go on a 10. Can I swap it? I'm, I'm I probably... Oh, that was a bad swap. Bad swap. Bad swap. Uh, ah! Should have got it. doesn't really make any difference. It'll stitch you up any which way it wants to. Well, I've actually got a few credits left in there. Let... Oh, dear me. Too quick. I, I was hurrying a bit there just to try and get the credits played off. I don't believe this. Well, I don't believe this. So we'll, we'll get these cleared off and then we will move on. So we've heard all the samples. There we are. We'll have that. We've heard all the samples. We've seen the gameplay. It's kind of a mid-tech, really. I don't, I don't think you necessarily... Ooh, shall we have another go? Come on. I don't believe oh. that. It's kind of a mid-tech more than a high-tech. But for me, these were, these were machines that I could play and that I could enjoy. Mizuma Bell era just didn't get on with it all. Wasn't interested. The mid-era, the sunburst era, yeah, okay, but not really. But this late era... Reno Reels, Monte Carlo or Bust, and Miami Dice, I loved them. And I, I could play them and play them and play them. I mean, it may have something to do with the fact that they actually turned up in the pubs here. And I played them, you know, because they were in the pubs and I'd kind of play whatever was in the pub. But having said that, Monte Carlo or Bust and Miami Dice were both in an arcade in Douglas and I would play them when I was going. But that was in a, a big arcade with lots of machines to choose from and pinballs, video games, driving games and all the rest of it. And I would... So let's uh, minimise that one down. That was a uh, Vectra layout, that one. Cheers to Vectra for that one. And I think Richie had some input on that one as well. So cheers for that one, chaps. And well, that, well done, Degsy. That's a fucking there we are windows desktop that's what everyone wants to watch on youtube there we are right okay and then we've got these two now i didn't like these machines as much uh, for some reason i've got a real real soft spot for reno reels i think that's because it was the one that turned up in the pubs these ones i'm not entirely sure these turned up in the pubs but they were in the arcade so it's reno reels that i've really got the soft spot for but these are great machines too. That they're kind of very similar in a lot of ways. But the thing, of course, that makes these stand out is have a look at the quality 
of Altered Emus DX. Uh, this is another one that... Oh, here we are. There we are. This is another one where if you can get it on a... Certainly play it in a darkened room on a big monitor, and if you can get it going on a bloody... Uh, on a 4K screen, you are in for a treat. Mm. That's a marked card. I don't know what it is. I'm s uh, how shameful. Oh, what a bummer. Shit. You know, I, I should know these, and somehow I don't know them. So let's try and get on the, uh, on the... I think... Oh, there we are. What's that? Okay, hold up there. There we are. There we are. And I think... Is it this one? That's, oh, no, it's Monte Carlo or Bus that's got the really annoying music on the feature, I think. Let's exchange over. So this one is... Oh, there's a Super Bank Raid. Shall we have that? So I think there are more features on this. So you've got all the blue ones you normal, of course, and your red ones you super. And you can you can rick to go around the board, or you can collect a feature. I think it's dice that's got... So obviously you wouldn't do this normally. I think it's dice that's got... Oh, dear. That didn't go very well, did it? I think it's dice that's got really nice... Meat. Oh, there we are. It has held taking pity on me for <laughs> the amount of shoes I must have done something I didn't know. We can get to the £4 repeater there, can't we? So we could exchange over. Well, shall we have a listen? I can't. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, it's not bad sound, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. Like Reno Reels, this one, with the sound package. Oh, what a bummer. Um... But we will have... We'll, we'll collect a couple of the feet. Oh, there we are, that's... See, that's just going to auto-collect the four quid, though. It's not going to give me uh, an, an opportunity to exchange for anything. That's the problem there. Ooh. Oh, wow. And, yeah. No joy on the repeat there, so I should have probably not not had that one and just, just played for the... Uh, played for the feature. So th these are good machines. Th th these are fine machines, but for some reason, neither of these, Monte Carlo or Bust or Miami Dice, uh, quite holds the same place in my heart that Reno Reels does, even though, of course, for these, we, we do have the amazing DX layouts by Altered Emu to play. Oh, dear, that's not, it's not going to go well, is it? That was never going to happen. So we'll get onto the feature. We will collect one of the features. There's one of them that does a kind of little version of Crockett's theme. And I can't remember if it's the... Oh, it might be the Lotto, actually. I'll see if I can get the Lotto and collect that one. I mean, I could just go through the samples, I suppose, in the sample player and do it that way, but that seems rather cheaty. So, gameplay-wise, to be honest with you, this is that they're all quite similar. All three, Reno Reels, Miami Dice, and Monte Carlo, Carlo or Bust, they all actually play very, very similarly. I wouldn't say they're clones of each other, but they're certainly pretty close. Although I think Miami Dice and Monte Carlo or Bust are pretty close to being clones. Um, Reno Reels is slightly different, of course. It doesn't have as many features. So let's, let's get a win in there and see what happens. Oh dear, I'm not, oh, not fancying my chances there at all. Let's have a look. Now, I do realise that there was all kinds of uh, shenanigans available, or uh, doable, for the uh, seasoned player on these. I'm not going to be going into that in this video, but it is my intention to get round to that in a future video. However, I'm not going to be covering it in this one. However, just for the record, I am aware that that stuff exists on these BWB video machines. A super nudge. Well, that's not really too much. Is it there? Can we get... No. And then... Okay, so all I'm... Oh, there we are. We've got the features. So I'm going to try... I'll, I'll collect Lotto. Okay, I think it might actually be Lotto that's got, that's got the, the sort of Crockett's theme. Let's take it and see what happens. Have a nice day. It 
is indeed Lotto. Wow, what a lovely sample that There's is. The wheel. This is probably not going to pay very well, though. There's the wheel. Quid, couple of quid, something like that, most likely. And Let's see where winner. we get to. An amazing £1.20 at the moment. Can we do better than that? And that's a win. That's a win. And this is a win. No win. Oh, oh, oh. And you're a winner. Well, there's two quid. We're still in the game. Uh, oh, 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 oh. And that's a win. It's a very slow way that's to get a win. <laughs> Not amazing win, isn't it? You only need one number, so as soon as we... Oh, oh, oh. No yeah. win. No win, sir. So... £2.60 off that. That's fantastic. So, we'll just collect that out. I'm not going to go through every single feature. I think that's actually my favourite sample on this one anyway, which is the Lotto, which is Crockett's thing. Obviously, you can fire these things for yourself. Fire these things up for yourself and have a listen. Let's go over to Monte Carlo or Bust. Now, this is the one. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Now, if we can get onto the feature here, this is the one. So that's quite a nice sample. Watch it just fucking kill me. Oh, I just I knew it was going to go to a blood this Oh, the gambles on these would drive you mad. And the annoying thing was that a lot of AWPs at the time had really fair gambles. Like Barcrest, for example. Oh, then listen to this horrible music. It used to drive me mad, this one. And if, you, if, and if you were going round the board... I mean, I should have just collected the super dice. But if you were going round the board a few times, trying to land on the super features, that music could get on your tits very, very quickly. Now, I should have obviously <laughs> should have collected the super... Let's see if we can get back onto a super feature and collect something. And shut that awful music up as well. Is that Super Dice? Yes, right, we'll collect Super Dice. Let's see what that goes for. Good luck, Monsieur. Yes, it's not in the same league as Reno Reels, the music on, on this one. I, I'd play so many. If I was doing an order, I'd say Reno Reels. Out of these three machines, Reno Reels is easily my favourite. Followed by Miami Dice and then Monte Carlo or Bus because I think it's got the weakest sound package. So purely, and that's not bad, that's exactly, purely for the reason that it's got the weakest we sound package. Winner. Some of the samples are okay, but it, it doesn't just we completely knock it out of the park like uh, like Reno Reels does. I'm not doing bad here, nine quid. You can see there, it's taking... Ah, oh, You would see it was taking credits all the time there. So, not a bad little... What was I saying? Yeah, um... It's like Barcrest at the time had really, really fair gambles. So, if you were gambling, say, on a 2 or a 3, or a 10 or an 11 on a Barcrest, yes, it would occasionally kill you, but most of the time, you were going to win that gamble. Even if you were gambling from, like, Blue Sevens for a jackpot, you were going to win that gamble most of the time. Whereas these BWBs were absolutely rancid. And, and as, you can see, as we've seen here, threes and queens were in no way... Because they would just go to twos or kings for fun. Uh, so, I, I never like the high-low gambles on these. I mean, I know they're all rigged, inverted commas, anyway, in that the machine will have you lose when it wants you to lose. But there was something about these that was just a little bit worse than the rest. Let's see what we can do. God, that we're not going to get there. I'm not well. That's all over. Oh, cheese. That is all over, I'm afraid. So there we are. That is the... the oh, okay. we have another feature? Let's have another crack at the feature. But I, I think we're mostly done on this one. Super Poker. Shall we have Super Poker? Let's see what that gives us. What's the music like on this one? Uh, see, now nah, it's just, it's all a bit... I know I know it fits with the theme, but I'm not oh, wildly. Cool, sure. Possible straight flush. So I'm obviously going to get that. We have the winner. So there's three quid. I don't, you don't actually hold them yourself. It just gives you... Yeah, so it's not like you can choose... So press start to draw cards. There's we no actual the holding strategy or anything like that. You, you are just praying. Yes, there. you get you get the two. So it'll probably give me that. That's a win. So there's six quid. I don't know what the, what this one does normally on on this ROM set. 
on your super features. I'm doing quite well here, but I don't think there's any guarantee that you're going to do this well. But there were obviously quite a few different ROMs on these because that, that Reno Reels plays really differently to the ones that I had here. So seven quid, that's a bit of a random amount to get. Oh, and it has held. Well, if we can get... So I think, what is it actually? It's saying to hold them to, so I can get single bars. Let's see what it does. I can get, yeah, so b boxed single bars. If I, so I'm going to have the exchange. Uh, I'm not going to gamble on that number. Let's have one more feature then, see what we get. Let's see if we can get another super feature. Dice, we're not having dice. God, that music drives you mad, doesn't it? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. And this is how I would play. I would just keep going until I, if a super feature or bust was the way I played these, because the normal features could just be so depressing with those awful, I mean, you know, £1 or £1.60 or whatever, so I would just keep going round until I get one or two things happened. The Wheel of Fortune is quite good fun, but it's super. That, that can pay all that. Oh, come on. And they all have a... Pro oh, there we are. We've got Super Bank Raid. Okay, let's look what we've got in the bank already. We've got seven quid, so let's have that. So we're, this is from seven quid up. Oh. Yeah, another not great sample, you know what I mean? There. Oh, we can actually see the amounts on screen. We don't actually need to, to do it. Of course, I'm silly. And obviously, we're going to know when it credit breaks here, because we're going to have to put some money in. Oh! Oh, it just went, <laughs> it just went back into the... Oh, that was a bit of a crappy way of doing it, wasn't it? Okay, well, there you go. That was a rather inelegant way of credit breaking when you've got no credits in. But that'll do. So, right, there we go. So, that was, again, so what was that? was a £3 super feature. The ones over here didn't play like that. That's not a bad little sample, but doesn't hit the high points like like uh, Reno Reels does for me. So there we are. I think that's kind of... Oh, God, look at the time. It's 47 minutes long already. That's kind of the BWB AWP video machines on the, on the MPU4 Video Tech, which was added in into a public release of the emulator, MFMEV5, released in November 2016, part of this amazing new wave of Fruit Machine emulation cannot be repeated enough many many thanks to wizard for that release of the emulator and ushering in this new dawn of fruit machine emulation and thanks to of course all the layout designers and the resource gatherers and everyone else the the, the people who maintain the websites and so on the end result being that you can have these machines running on your PC. Something that I just never, ever thought would happen. I swear to God, I thought this was going to be my fucking lot forever. Watching this machine uh, on, on YouTube, this, this video on YouTube from Mr. P's Classic Amusements with awful, awful sound quality. I thought that was going to be as good as it would ever get. And yet instead, we've got that. How glorious. And thank you to everyone who has been a part of making that happen. But for me, I know it looks the least inspiring out of all of them, but that is the real cherry on top of a truly magnificent cake, being able to play Reno Reels again via the magic of Fruit Machine emulation here in 2018. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll catch up with you next time. But for now, uh, goodbye.